your friendly neighborhood and man 64 bringing you the next episode of pokemon scarlet in the last episode we wrapped up everything we had to do in the coastal biome got a couple of nifty little prizes and apparently i'm being surrounded by an army of seals and uh milceries and in this episode we're in the polar biome trying to level up the last of our starter pokemon to fill up our pokedex and prepare ourselves for battle against the likes of the blueberry academy elite four now, I don't think we're going to get every trainer here in the uh, polar biome because there's just way too many and a lot of them are scattered throughout the uh, charge stone area, uh, the charge stone area. But hey, at the very least we get to, uh, at the very least we get a little bit of practice in. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I was going to say more, but more to think about it. Honestly, there really isn't much else to, do, to say. So, basically, we're just hoping we can get the rest of these Pokemon evolved, have a wonderful day, and then we'll debate the last members of our team. So, honestly, I think, for the Elite Four at least, this team will pr basically stand out. Uh, Thunder Punch for Lapras, Drain Punch for Sandslash. I think that'll do. There we go. And we're gonna fight Kieran with our normal team. So in case you're sitting there going, "What? Why aren't you fight? Why are you giving so much time to these other Pokemon?" I'll be like, "I understand. It's not. It's not that I don't want to give these Pokemon the time of day. It's just the fact that, well, these are some of the rules, and I wanna, I wanna show you guys that, yeah, you don't need just the team of six that you have to be, build good battle teams, and you really don't. Wow, this guy's a lot of freaking Pokemon." Lord, uh, Stomping Tantrum and uh, Drain Punch in case Stomping Tantrum does not kill. But Thor is super powerful, so I imagine it will. Yeah, I had to run a couple of uh, I had to run a couple errands after uh, the last session and lunch, so figured I'd uh, take a bit of a break, grab a drink, all that jazz, and now we're set to go. And Brion is ready to evolve into Primarina. The most flamboyant Pokemon I've ever owned. Openly flamboyant, at least. To Primarina, every battle is a stage. It takes down its prey with beautiful singing and dancing. Primarina wants to learn the move Sparkling Aria. Sure. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Alright. Okay, Primarina is done. That leaves us with only a handful of Pokemon left to level up. And since it's going to keep the debate lively a bit, let's, uh, let's do Torchic next. But I do want to look at something. I want to check their, uh, their stats. Alright, if I'm using Mudkip, its nature has to change, because I'm going to make it a physical attacker. Or at the very least, a mixed attacker. And Squirtle is also going to have to have its nature change, so... It's all going to depend on what I feel like doing. I'll make the decision in the next few, uh... I'll make the decision in the next few episodes. Probably by the end of this one or the next one. Uh, let's heal here. We are not challenging this one just yet, because obviously we're a little of a ways behind. Yeah, we're not, cha we're not challenging Drayton until all of the other gym leaders have been, all the other Elite Four members have been dealt with. Not that I don't like dragons, it's just, like I said, dragons are definitely going to be the hardest for our team to beat. And since we have to build a team of six Pokemon that are from the biome in order to do it, we might as well at least develop a good team. A good rapport, if you will. But honestly, this is the time 
where if you have Pokemon that are good with double battle moves, you might want to add, add them to your team. Uh, we'll go Ice Punch on Golurk, and we'll go Fire Punch on Rotom. Yeah, but this is the opportunity where you don't want to have an all-out offensive team. Unless, of course, you have a Pokemon with the uh, Assault Vest. Like Hitmonchan. Like, I'm not going to do... Rocky is going to just be an attacker. Everybody else, I'm thinking, more or less, is going to be a mix. Like, I don't think I'm going to have uh, Thor be an all-out attacker as well. Because then my team is horrifically imbalanced. Let's take out that Rotom. Finish it off. Quick and painless. And I think we got a Cinderace here, which would be nice. Look at our audience here. We got a nice little audience of Pokemon, as per usual. Alright, so Raboot evolves. A very angry rabbit. Cinderace. Although Cinderace loses its cool easily, it will battle flawlessly for a trainer it trusts. Alright, wants to learn the move Pyro Ball. One of the coolest animations for a move that has ever been introduced, but... Unfortunately for us... They changed the animation so it does not have its anima the normal animation it would have. Like it did in Sword and Shield. Which is unfortunate, but... Uh, what you gonna do? Right, let's go to the box. Cinderace can go to the box. And, uh, we'll do Mudkip. And then we'll make the final decision between Mudkip and Squirtle when they're both fully evolved. I can claim a reward. I can, can I? The Beast Ball. Nice. An ability patch if we get another 10. Which shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. We have two more evolutions for Torchic, two evolutions for Mudkip, two evolutions for Squirtle. We have the main Pokemon that we'll be encountering in this area. A couple of other evolutions that we haven't picked up yet. Like Slowbro and Slowking, which shouldn't be too impossible to get. So yeah, I honestly think we will, we will be able to get that ability patch. 63. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about freaking uh, the last of all evolution for Diplin. Right, so let's look for one. There should be one or two more trainers around here. I vaguely recall seeing one in my attempts to find Torchic here, but I'm not 100% sure. Hey. Watch it, bub. Hey, go lurk. What's up, peeps? Obama's nose. Cool. Obama's nose is a very nice nose, I imagine. Oh, alley -oop. Thank God for this cliff scaling ability. Otherwise, running around here would be like literal torture. Got a dubious disc. But you need to evolve Porygon unless you're like me and you just wait till it shows up at a frickin' terror raid. That's the smart thing to do. Because you're not guaranteed to get multiples of the same type of items. You'll have to go out and buy them, and that's that's just kind of silly if you ask me. Right, so let's scale the mountain a bit more. See what's at the top. I see there's a thing, there's a water terror raid doesn't really help us but it could help us find some more trainers it did beautiful what's in this one glue okay please work out look lady I, I I'm big for a reason I don't work out uh, paralyzed heals I have like a million of them hyperbolic I know but I don't care Alright, so Rebecca the student. 
She sends out Duosion and Batang, a couple of Psychic types. Interesting. Can't really do much against them, except just out-muscle them. So I'll do Stomping Tantrum on Matang, and I will do Fire Punch on Duosion. That's a dead Matang, which is good. I do way too much of that goddamn Beldum that took me 45,000 years to catch. Fire Punch should not take out... Oh, it did take out Duosion. I was going to say, I thought it would have too much HP at that point, but I guess not. And we beat Rebecca. That didn't even come close to working. Ah, sweetie, you just gotta build, catch more Pokemon. If you catch more Pokemon, eventually, the sheer inertia. Why can't I ride Coridon? This game, man. This game, man. Ooh, another trainer. Okay, cool. Because it's there, man. I climbed the peak before me because it's there. I beat the trainer before me because he's there. I wonder if that changes if you have a if you have a girl female student there. I don't know. Female trainer, I don't forget that. Either way, we got a couple of we got a couple ice types to deal with. Uh, brick break that sand slash and fire punch the nine tails. I feel so bad hitting a low one nine tails. It is it is actually one of the most adorable Pokemon out there. Far more adorable than the normal nine tails. Hey, it lived. You use you use Snowscape in an area where it's almost always snowing. Dude. 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 That's why you're not a winning trainer. That's why you're here on the mountain instead of being an Elite Four member. Well, we're getting Combuskin, that's for sure. And I think after we beat Crabominable, we might actually also get, uh... What's his face? Oh, Rocky! Rocky, you're frozen! You have to... You're stuck singing Let It Go! Oh, nope. You lived. He just decided, yeah, I'm not frozen. You're frozen. Your mom's frozen. Do you not know Rocky spent, like, hours in a freaking meat thing beating up on a bunch of meat? A meat cooler? More importantly, Torchic evolves. And gives us... Combuskin! It boosts its concentration by emitting harsh cries. Its kicks have outstanding destructive power. Good job, Combuskin. Combuskin wants to learn the move Double Kick. Sure, why not? It's better than Reversal. Alright, and then Mudkip. Adorable little scamp that he is. Give us Marsh Tom. Nice. Living on muddy ground that provides poor footing has served to train its lower body and cause it to develop sturdy legs. Those little stubby legs are so sturdy. Good job, Marsh Tom. Wants to learn the move Mud Shot. Ooh. Uh. Get rid of Endeavor. You ain't gonna use it anyway, champ. Believe me. I know you. Oh, now it's Super Blizzard out. Okay. Uh, let's look around the other side of the mountain for... Any other trainers? I think we got most of them, if not all of them. That are not in the cave. I think once we deal with that, then we'll have to go into the cave. But I digress. It was going to happen one way or another. Uh, it's a... Oh, they're all sputtering down there. They're all sputtering down there. You're stuffed? Well, here, allow me to kill you. 
I don't know. It says it's 85 degrees out, but it's like got a real feel of like mid 90s. Especially in the car. The outer car temperature said it was like 98 degrees. I'm like, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Alright, so Porygon traced Vital Spirit. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why don't you just evolve your freaking Metang into a Metagross, dude? Why, why, do you, why can't you just evolve your Pokemon? You'd be so much more challenging. But alas. They opt not to, and this is where we are. A Hitmonchan and a friggin' Electivire absolutely dominating everybody. Joseph the Student. Burp. Oh, you burped. That's disgusting. You pig. Can't burp in front of your fellow students. That's unethical. Immoral. Rude. Any other trainers? Doesn't look like it. I think I've taken... Oh, there's one. There's always one hiding. There's always a bigger fish. Hehe, <laughs> tell me. Do you like occult mysteries? What kind of a way is that to start a conversation with someone, you freak? Good lord. Minior and Golurk. Oh, we know how to beat these guys. We'll go Ice Punch on Golurk and Thunder Punch on Minior. Just punch things. You punch things and you win. Alright, so we actually might get Blaziken and Swampert very soon. Depending on if she has any new any other Pokemon or if it's just these two. I think it's only these two. Nope, she has another Minior. I think we're going to get a Swamper. And another Minior. Okay. Okay, I, I guess we know what we're doing. Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. Alright, so we're going to get a Blaziken and a Swamper very soon. I can live with that. Alright, we defeated a Pinya. Well, I didn't ask for her Pinya. <laughs> but more importantly, our Pokemon evolve. Combuskin. Becomes Blaziken. Blaziken Skywalker. When facing a tough foe, it looses flames from its wrists. Its powerful legs let it jump clear over buildings. So he's Superman. Alright, I get it. I get it. Blaziken wants to learn the move Blaze Kick. Of course. That would just be silly if I didn't teach you Blaze Kick. Uh, get rid of Flare Blitz. You don't need it. You're a mixed attacker anyway. Good job. Last but not least, Spuds McKenzie here can become Swampert. Ooh, Ooh look at him. Look at him, he's, he's, he's just a derp. Its arms are hard as rock. With one swing, it can break an enormous boulder to pieces. Beautiful. Alright, you don't learn anything upon leveling up, you butt face. How are you going to learn Earthquake, then? I don't know. Alright, let's go fly over to the... Actually, wait, why am I doing it this way? No, climb up. Climb, climb onto a ledge. A ledge, a ledge, an alleged ledge. There you go. And we're going to fly to the rest area. And we're going to see how many we've beaten so far. They got a decent amount, all things considered. Honestly, though, if I have to teach Swamper Earthquake, I might just go with Blastoise then. Or Kingdra. I love Swampert and all, but, like, 
I don't want to have to teach you. I don't want to have to waste a TM for Earthquake. Oh well, we'll keep it. We'll keep you to the. We'll keep you in our thoughts for now. Uh, let's bring Metagross out. Let's bring Titan. So now all we're doing is waiting on Squirtle, on Squirts McGee, who apparently I didn't give a nickname, but whatever, don't care. Uh, there she is. Oh, TM. Breaking swipe, cool. Blah, 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 oh, cool. That means we gotten all the students? Okay. I'll take it. TM222, breaking swipe. We just got that one. Yep, I already did it. So give me more BP and another TM. Make it a good one. Muddy water. Alright, I could live with that. Alright. So that means we've done everything here in the, uh... And the polar biome, besides take on Drayton, and we're not doing that for like five more episodes. Especially because each Elite Four member, like the gyms in Paldea, all have the challenges for them. So you'll know that the challenges will end up taking a little bit of time at least. So I think we will wrap up inside the uh, Charge Stone Cavern, and we'll go see what we have to do from that point on. Uh, I didn't grab the item. Oh, another trainer? Sure, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll take more money. I'll gladly take more money. I'll gladly take more money as I have to medicate. Dugong and Quillfish, eh? What, how are you intimidated by a quillfish? That's just wrong. Thunder Punch and Stomping Tantrum. Should be enough. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Did you just poison my electric guy? How could you do that? Rain dance. What, 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 what were you going to gain from rain dance there, Chief? I'll uh, we'll go stomping tantrum and drain punch. I keep forgetting Dugong's part ice type now, so I can actually use fighting type attacks on it. And Shibumi. Dead Dugong. Beautiful. We defeated Rayford, and that's all that matters. <coughs> all right. We go into the cave. We have a trainer right immediately as we enter. I believe there actually is. I think it's like right over here. Up. Oh. A Tynamo! I thought you were an item, you silly little goose. You surprised me. Thank you, friend. At least that Tynamo looked like a Tynamo. There we are. I believe. Do you believe in the Great Pumpkin? Alright, let's see. Uh, full restore because we have him. And I just want, I just want friggin' to see what Squirtle stats will look like when we evolve it. I believe in my Pokemon. Do you? Do I believe in your Pokemon? I don't know your Pokemon. Do you know my Pokemon? I believe in them. Talonflame and Mandibuzz. I think you made a very poor choice here. Uh, Mandibuzz and Hitmonchan can deal with Talonflame. Of course it lived. Why wouldn't it live? But at least there's no way Talonflame will live here. It might give me a burn at the end of it, but... Nope, it didn't. 
Nice. Alright, so Tox. Alright, there is something I do have to complain about. Back in the day, when Toxic was like a normal TM, it always gave off, like, everybody could learn Toxic. Now, like, so few Pokemon can learn the Toxic TM. It's so ridiculous. Like, I was building teams for battling Mark when I wanted to battle Mark for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos, and I was so pissed when I found out friggin' what's it call it? Friggin', uh, what's his face? Can't you learn, uh, Doug Trio can't learn Toxic. That's a brilliant strategy. You can use Toxic, frickin' Sandstorm, Substitute, Reversal. That's a great strategy you could use for it, but no. We have to be nice. And this goddamn Vulture is just gonna protect spam the rest of this fight, isn't it? Anybody else coming in? Anyone else coming in for you, Cecilia? You bitch. Nope, two on one. We know how this ends. Right in the face. Stupid vulture. And this should actually get us War Turtle. Beautiful. I can't believe how strong you are. I am a member of the same league club you are, so it should not be shocking to you. Ooh, look at my Squirtle. Let him evolve to War Turtle. Ooh, he's so grumpy. Ooh, he's so grumpy. War Turtle's long furry tail is a symbol of the longevity, so this Pokemon is quite popular among older people. Okay. I guess. Oh, well. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64. Join me next time as we go and continue to explore the Charge Stone Cavern here and try to get us some more trainer battles done in so we can get some prizes. I don't know if we will, but I'm going to do my best. Until we meet again, my lovelies, sayonara.